Hey, what's up? I hope you're doing great. My name is Daniel Carreon, and today we will talk about a very easy topic, the law of signs, or the rule of signs. So pay close attention. To begin with, I will tell you that the law of signs is only used in multiplication and division. Remember that in math, parentheses mean multiplication. The rule of the signs is as follows. Positive times positive equals positive. Positive times negative equals negative. Negative times negative equals positive. Negative times positive equals negative. As you can see, when you multiply two equal signs like these cases, the result is positive. When you multiply two different signs like this case, the result is negative. Here, I am going to put the rule of the signs to be supporting us in case there is any doubt. So that is clear to us, we are going to see some exercises. The first is positive 5 times negative 4. First, I'm going to multiply the signs. Positive times negative gives me negative, and 5 times 4 gives me 20. Now the next. First, the signs. Positive times positive gives me positive. 5 times 4 gives me 20. Now, minus 6 times minus 10. Negative times negative gives me positive. 6 times 10 gives me 60. Our result is positive 60. Now, minus 8 times positive 6. Negative times positive gives me negative. And 8 times 6 gives me 48. The result is negative 48. Now, minus 7 times positive 1. Negative times positive gives me negative. And 7 times 1, 7. The result is minus 7. Very easy, right? Now, we go with three consecutive multiplications. I have plus 5 times minus 4 times minus 3. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply plus 5 times minus 4. First, the signs. Positive times negative is negative, and 5 times 4 gives me 20. I have minus 20, and the minus 3 goes down exactly the same. Now, I multiply minus 20 times minus 3. Negative times negative gives me positive, and 20 times 3 gives me 60. Our result is plus 60. Very easy, right? Let's see another example. Now I have plus 8 times minus 2 times plus 10. First, I am going to multiply plus 8 times minus 2. And positive times negative gives me negative. And 8 times 2 gives me 16. Minus 16 and the plus 10 I lower it exactly the same. Now, I am going to multiply minus 16 times plus 10. Negative times positive gives me negative, and 16 times 10 gives me 160. Therefore, my result is minus 160. Our next example is minus 5 times minus 1 times minus 10 times minus 7. I am going to start by multiplicating minus 5 times minus 1. First, the signs. Negative times negative is positive, and 5 times 1 gives me 5. Now, the minus 10 and minus 7. I lower them exactly the same. Now, I am going to multiply plus 5 times minus 10. Positive times negative is negative, and 5 times 10 equals 50 and minus 7 goes down exactly the same. Now, I will multiply minus 50 times minus 7. Negative times negative gives me positive, and 50 times 7 gives me 350. My result is plus 350. Very easy, right? The rule of signs is also used in divisions. Let's see some examples. Here, I have plus 20 divided by minus 4. First, signs. Positive divided by negative gives me negative, and 20 divided by 4 is 5. My result is minus 5. Now, I have 
plus 80 divided by plus 10. Positive divided by positive gives me positive, and 80 divided by 10 gives me 8. My result is plus 8. Now, minus 40 divided by minus 20. Negative divided by negative gives me positive, and 40 divided by 20 gives me 2. My result is plus 2. Now, I have minus 42 divided by plus 7. Negative divided by positive gives me negative, and 42 divided by 7 gives me 6. My result is minus 6. Very easy, right? Now, I am going to leave some exercises for you to solve. I hope to see your answers in the comments. I really hope you liked this video. Please hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe to be able to keep watching my videos. See you next time. Bye-bye.